Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tommy with another StarCraft Remastered Replay cast from the South Korean ladder again. We have spawning here in the upper right in the brown. It is Flash with his AK with his barcode. And another barcode here in the lower right in the orange. I don't know who this pro player is. I believe it's 15 barcodes. So it could be rich, it could be. I don't think it's B2B, so B2 so actually has 14. But yeah, still a very high APM. So it should be a very good game. You can also see from the timer once again a quite a short replay so are we again going to be seeing the known timing push here from flash we're about to find out as there are already around 20 replays from flash doing this and in only one replay he was unsuccessful with his push so let's see what's going to happen here we have the production tap in the upper left part we're going to be checking out the build orders very soon just like we do in the previous replays pretty normal stuff uh, pylon for the protos by repo for the Terran very close towards his command center just in case it's going to be a aggressive move out by the Protoss. So let's see how the game is going to continue for spawning location map. Of course the Protoss can be greedy and go for a fast nexus but I believe he's going indeed for a gateway first and also very early scout by him. So usually the Terrans like to go out at around the 1 minute and 40 second mark but this time it's the Protoss who really wants to know where exactly his enemy is located. Let's check Flash very quick, there is his barracks and very soon I'm pretty sure he's going to go in for his gas and for his uh, scouting SCV, so there it is. Gas is going to start and in comes the probe from the Protoss, could be annoying to attack the SCVs a little bit, maybe even to attack the SCV that are building the barracks or the gas right here, so in comes the movement forward by the opponent. Of course a little bit of a noise is going to happen, the SCVs might take some damage. The probe is of course going to try to be as annoying as possible. It could be even a possibility to play some pylons here just to make it even harder for the Terran to mine those minerals. Let's check the main once again very quickly from the Protoss. There is the, his gas. Pretty sure he's going to continue with his cybernetic sword. One zealot is also getting started. And the probe is still giving important information about the build order here from Flash. Another supply depot. We might see yet another supply the uh, sorry another uh, first factory here for flash there it is factory cybernetic score is also up as the first zealot is also moving here out for the proto so pretty standard stuff flash could be successful here into sniping the probe if he blocks it correctly and now flash going towards the right direction notice how nicely the protoss is hiding the zealot right here by passing this SCV and straight moving forward towards the main from Flash once again. And with that, even fooling Flash, look at that. Flash actually deciding to abandon the lower right uh, outing as in comes the push with the Zealot and with the probe. Of course, the Marines are on high ground, but they still have to be migrated. And there is in comes the attack. The probe is fully charged, already taking some good damage. A great uh, targeting here by Flash as the probe has been killed and now even a greater micro by him. As the Zealot is going to be pushed back and still he's scouting the map with his SCV. Nice mine came here by the Protoss, keeping Flash at bay. And with that Flash actually deciding to um, create a bunker here for his expansion. Check the main once again here for the Protoss. He might go into a robotics facility bay very soon. But he might also go for a Nexus next. So very good build order by him as his first Dragoon is also moving out here onto the map. And in comes finally the SCV from, the, from Flash. But he might get blocked here, so very good the position here for the Protoss, nicely blocking the entrance. Pretty much now Flash doesn't know what exactly is happening into the main, he has no idea. It's going to be a robotics facility or bay or not, this uh, expansion could even be cancelled. We have however a Vulture moving out for Flash. So, like I told you, the expansion could be cancelled and everything could be invested into a robotics facility bay with a shuttle, with a... River attack, but that would be, of course, very, very crazy. However, still, it would be a possibility, as I believe the bunker right here has been cancelled in order for Flash to have some minerals for his expansion. Let's see how the game is going to continue. We have another supply depot, I believe, here for Flash, as some dragoons are still chasing the vulture away. And slowly but steadily, we turn towards the five minute mark. So, yeah, there we have any the robotics facility bay, but there are vultures out on the map. And I believe mines will be finished very soon, so the Protoss might have to go for his uh, observatory forest. And we also have to in increase to goon range. Nothing especially is happening here onto the map. Some mines are getting placed here by a flash just to keep the Protoss at bay. 
having good vision here onto this location just to see when or if it's going to be another expansion by the Protoss. So pretty standard stuff. We also see now a speed upgrade for the Vultures and another factory is getting placed out here for uh, so it's pretty much mass Vultures moving here out for him with some Marines. The Dragoon is not getting micro, so Protoss has to be careful. He's actually taking quite some damage here as he has to be micro back. But range for the Dragoons will be finished very soon. Vultures, of course, will stand no chance. So Dragoons early on will be strong. But they just need to be micro nicely back and forward. And one Marine is already getting snapped. One Vulture really, really low. But yeah, Flash just keeps his opponent at bay. So an Observatory is indeed about to get finished. A great pull here by the Protoss. But it's already four Vultures out here for the Terran. As the Protoss might have to play it a little bit more defensively here. And just wait for his observers to arrive. More pylons are getting produced, more dragoons. Speed is about to get finished. There we have the Terran armory and an engineering base. So very soon Flash might go for a little bit of a defenses versus the probably incoming shuttle gameplay here by the Protoss as the vultures are still moving out onto the map into a different location perhaps to catch the Protoss by surprise but it's a nice wall of here by the Protoss and I believe only two dragoons can stop the vultures for, from moving forward so yeah, in comes the observer the ways are going to be cleared very soon in comes the engineering bay might be used for some scouting and we have the first turrets also getting produced here by Ash one also nicely being placed here and the engineering bay giving good vision here in case the Protoss is going to come forward with some shuttle gameplay. So yeah, still anyone's game we close closing slowly but still it was the 10 minute mark. Still no shuttle gameplay here interesting enough for the Protoss. Pretty much masses Dragoons and he might save some money for a expansion mode hole actually. We do have a drive by here by the Terran by Flash but not inflicting major damage against the opponent as now the Dragoons are pretty much moving here forward versus the opponent but it's a little bit too fast so he might just be intercepted with some mines very soon so let's see what all this dragoon push can do we see that uh siege tank abilities has not been finished yet however more and more tanks are getting produced weapons one is getting produced here for flash as in comes the push forward by the dragoons and of course they will be able to snipe one tank or two so one is already getting dropped the dragoon is also dropping perhaps the protoss should have waited for all of his dragoons to move forward as more and more damage has been taken here and another tank has fallen but we look at that four even five dragoons have now fallen another tank should fall very soon the dragoon pretty much sacrificing a lot a lot of units here now pretty much getting blocked and i believe with that all of the dragoons might be taken out very soon as it's just two dragoons now being left so quite a aggressive move out here by the protoss and now we finally do have siege ability and i believe with that the siege should of course up here for the protoss with that of course the protoss deciding to expand was smartly attacking but losing lots and lots of units and with that he just wanted to protect and give time towards his expansion point right here as even more and more gateways are getting produced here for the proto so nice macro game indeed but sadly for him sacrificing way way too many units he might be lucky here to snap another tank pretty much aggressive so he's betting on the fact that his economy is going to allow him to come back into the game sacrificing some dragoons snapping important tanks and with that flash of course is going to be also able to take his expansion right here and protect it with the tanks so in the end is it going to be a fair trade let's see what's going to happen some tanks have been sniped is it going to be a timing push is even flash having enough tanks here to move out with a timing push he's going to more factories right here his economy is looking pretty good 43 workers however the protoss had already 15 workers for him looking very very strong and Notice that he was willing to sacrifice his dragoons. He was willing to take even more damage in order to give uh, his economy perhaps a boost. In order to keep Flash a little bit at bay. We see him go for some reavers right now. Shuttle is also ready but I believe speed for the shuttle hasn't been done yet. So with that the shuttle of course will have a very very hard time to move here forward. There is a turret right here. So saw some turrets right here and I believe Flash is also making two turrets right here into this location as the observer is giving great vision right here so let's see what's going to happen is the protoss going to be lucky and interesting enough the protoss even investing into yet another expansion however not that many vultures being available here for flash to inflict damage only two of them mention is a little bit exposed with only two dragoons hiding it so regarding it 
And yeah, we have passed the 10 minute mark. Let's see if the drop is going to be successful here. Only a couple of SCVs mining right here as Flash is slowly but steadily actually moving out here onto the map. Let's see if it's going to be a successful push. He has to pull those SCVs, so that's really bad for his economy, really bad for his production. And I believe one um, one river can be dropped right here. I believe he could be lucky to snipe one spirit or two. Of course, the real action is happening here in the front. Vultures pretty much exposed in the front. They will take lots and lots of damage here out of the Dragoons. Or perhaps a little bit of a risky move out here by Flash, but he really wants to damage the newly established base for the opponent. In the meantime, the Reaver in the back is going to be sniped. So Sally for the Protoss. He's not paying attention at the same time. The Vultures are moving forward. More and more workers are dropping here for the Protoss. Siege tanks now finally do siege up here onto the high ground. So very good position here by Flash. Sally here for the Protoss. He has no speed lags. Some siege tanks in the back have been sieged. And what well, a great pull here by the Protoss. Pretty much imploding all of those uh, tanks. Great, great stuff. Even though he had no legs upgrades, he was able to fend this off. But at the same time, he did GG out. As there still was an expansion right here, I don't believe he should have GG'd out, but perhaps he had his calculation given the fact that his um, counter here with the Reaver really didn't do anything. And yeah, with that, I believe Flash would have had perhaps the small advantage right here. Still, the economy from the Protoss looking very, very strong. Sadly for him, he didn't have legs once again for the for the, the Zealots. And yeah, there we have the Robotics. Sorry. Little of a Dune. Very late indeed for going for speed legs. And with that, of course, Flash could have just easily bypassed this with some vultures right here. And a good push by him in the end. Once again, showing us how strong the Terrans can be if you actually play aggressive and if you actually are willing to even sacrifice a couple of units to win the game. So, quite a nice game by both players. And Flash proving to be way, way too strong here versus his opponent with yet another perfectly done timing push. And sadly here for the Protoss, the sacrifice for those Dragoons didn't really work out. Of course it gave him time for his expansions, but he just lost way way too many Dragoons. And let's not forget the fact that he had no speed legs for the Zealots. With speed legs, somebody said that it would be great for the Protoss to defend actually this timing push. And the shuttle can also work out really really well. We saw how that one Zealot just pretty much pulled all of those mines into those tanks and just immediately took them out. However, now Flash once again with a victory. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Tommy signing out.